This is my calendar. <laughs>
After that, I'm taking those pins and I'm alternating them between teal and pink. And I'm going to just place one next to each of our categories. And then this is super dangerous, so I would advise using something better than I did, but I just tapped them into the wood with a candle. This next part is super optional and just for decoration, but I took the spare tassels that I had from the first DIY and I hot glued them to the bottom. After that, I just took both of our letters and I added a bit of string to the back of them in a loop so that we could hook them on to our pins. And after that, you're done. So we plan on hanging this on our door. That way, right before we leave, we can just attach our letter to whatever pin corresponds with where we're going. You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? Scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. So it really sucks because my third DIY was actually my favorite one out of all of them, and it's this corkboard calendar. I got inspired to do this because on Pottery Barn Team, they sell a similar kind of corkboard calendar for I think 50 or $60. I'll double check on that, but I think it's somewhere around that price range. And I knew I could make that for way cheaper. So here's my version. Looks like this. So for this DIY, you're going to need a corkboard. This one was $5.99 at Ikea, which is super, super inexpensive. You can also pick them up at Target or office supply stores. You're also going to need some white paint, some painter's tape, some pins and some post-it notes, and that's pretty much it. Um, all I did was measure out both sides of my cork foot fly painter's tape to my board and painted it in to get these really nice, crisp, and clean lines. I also got these little vellum numbers from Michaels. They actually came in a big scrapbook paper sheet, and I just cut them up myself, and I pinned each one on with a little pin from the dollar spot at Target. It was a dollar for 25 of the pins. So um, once I put all of the numbers on, I pretty much had my calendar. The only thing that was left to do was apply little stickers. These are the same stickers from my Where Are You Going DIY. And I just went ahead and stuck them on at the top um, to see what day of the week it is. I think this is an amazing way to organize. For me personally, I don't like whiteboards because I always like get my fingers dirty wiping them off and then it just starts to look messy after a while. But this system, you have post-it notes, so if something does change, it's super easy to just peel one off and change it for the next day. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind that the footage frizz got lost. I just couldn't bear to go out and spend the money and do a whole nother calendar for the video because this DIY, although it was super simple, did take a while just to make sure all the squares were even and everything was put together. I hope you guys kind of get the general scheme of the DIY. Apart from that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was my first DIY video and I hope that you guys like them. I will definitely be making some more. Also, if you guys want to see more college videos, let me know down below what kind of college videos you want to see because I'm super, super excited to be filming them for you guys. Apart from that, make sure you stock all my social media down below and at the end of the screen. Also make sure to check out last week's video. I did a short little graduation video about my high school graduation. Tears, smile, I don't know how to feel. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Apart from that, I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye! Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from?